this is my particle photon board controlling an RGB LED matrix. It's 16 by 32 pixels and it's running a custom animation that I wrote at the moment. I can actually change modes and it changes every few minutes or so. Uh, it'll switch between a pong clock, it'll display the weather and a bunch of things. And what's cool about it is it's uh, Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, so I can send it messages arbitrarily, you know, so I can set up like a little uh, cron job or something similar that checks whatever I want and sends messages to my display here. And I'm going to demonstrate that with this little uh, command line function. Uh, particle function call, uh, and then the RGBLD matrix, and then that function that I wrote, which is so text, and I'm going to send it this message. And that's not being sent, oh, there it is, Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's not being sent through my computer. That's uh, it's being sent over the uh, internet, basically. So, and the, to demonstrate that, the only thing that's plugged in right now is this uh, 2.1 millimeter barrel connector. Uh, it's just a five volt display, uh, and it's running right now. Let me see if I can change modes. Let's show, show you. Ah, so that's my explosion mode. Let's change it to pong mode. And again, this is controlled over the internet. So as long as this thing has Wi-Fi, I'll be able to control it, send it messages and whatnot. And I love that Pong mode. It actually has a whole bunch of um, modes. Like I can show the weather quick. This mode will call it quick. And so it displays the day. And then it was updating the weather in the background while it does that. So I should see whether, okay, it's 70 degrees right now outside, which is about right. And today's forecast is high of 75. And it will just go through the weeks. And then when it's done, it'll go back to whatever uh, clock mode that it was on. I love this thing. It is so cool. And I got, you know, this whole thing I got working pretty much on the first try. <laughs> I mean, very impressive. And I made this little... Um, backpack here. It's hard to see in the darkness. Maybe turn the light on. There we go. So that's the particle photon board and the little um, you know, blank PCB that I used, a little prototyping board, to make this little backpack that sits in the back here. And I added some screw terminals, that's all that is for the power. Pretty sweet. And for reference, this, this is called a P10 display. It's the type of thing that you'd see on a, you know, a huge, you know, a giant uh, screen outdoors or whatever. Or indoors, actually. This is an indoor type. And it was uh, $10 last year, LA Express sale. <laughs> and the, the photon board here is uh, $20. And the components, if you added it all up, it'd probably be a total of about mm, 35 bucks for everything. And I'm going to put it in a nice uh, laser cut enclosure and make this thing pretty. And I'm going to hang it on the wall, uh, though it might go into my wife's uh, employer because they need something like this. That's that. And I can actually pull this board out. It's just a, it's plugged in by a female header. I'm not going to do that right now. But man, this thing is sweet. I love it. I want to get another one. 